now it's red. So, look at this. Record, record. Okay, and now we go. So, so now we'll uh, go for that walk up, I'd say 800 meters, and then at a diagonal back towards Don Downey's land. We'll get a good survey cut, a good uh, survey of that cut. It's been there forever and a day, so we'll see what's taken out of it. Um, Don told me in a day that a lot of people before he built cut down a lot of trees in that property. So we'll see. But, uh, we'll start our walk now, and as we go, we'll get a good idea of our walking path. Can just close this. Now it's red. So, look at this. Record, record. Okay, and now we go. So, so now we'll uh, go for that walk up, I'd say 800 meters, and then at a diagonal back towards Don Downey's land. We'll get a good survey cut, a good uh, survey of that cut. It's been there forever and a day, so we'll see what's taken out of it. Um, Don told me in a day that a lot of people before he built cut down a lot of trees in that property. So we'll see. But, uh, we'll start our walk now, and as we go, we'll get a good idea of our walking path. Close. We can just close this. Okay. So you can see right there where we are. We're not too far in from the road. Turn. Right, we're only that far in. And this is a first bridge point, right there. So for the purposes of the map, I'm going to walk in there a little bit and walk back out, and that'll make a little divot on the on the map. And then as we go, I'll zoom the map out further and further and see the entire depth as we go down the property. Okay. Okay. Okay, you can see how far in we are. Can you see the camera? So, this little divot right there is this little bridge and this clearing. Mm -hmm. The last long walk that you and I took was out here all the way in behind Downey's property and then back out again, right to the little swampy bit. We might actually cross that swamp as we walk up here. But that's the path we took, and then we're going to head back up that way. Okay. Or... Like it's going now. Okay, you can push that little button there next time, too. Hello again. I remembered that this bridge was attaching to the main road right before this bend over here. So this bend goes off to the left and that's the direction we just came from. You should be able to see how uh, distinctly grown in it is from last time. But we're going to take our chances and cross ye old rickety bridge and uh, you can also see we've gone in that far, 0.6 kilometers, roughly, and uh, you can see the first little depression where the bridge was, second bridge, and now the third bridge. I'll have this overlaid onto a map, um, have it overlaid onto a, a satellite map where you actually see the geography and the geology and uh, topography. So when that is the case, it'll make it more clear as to what's actually going on. So we'll head in here now. So, this is a path that used to be used very heavily for logging and cutting. Don had told me that when this road connected to the main asphalt frontage, he used that road as his driveway, which tells us why he put the house there. And then you'll see that clearly from the satellite image map. So that's the rickety bridge we just walked across. As brave as we've tried to be. 
and we'll roll footage as we walk in here and uh, see how much fun we have. And if the camera picks up whispering and cracking branches and this kind of stuff while we're out here, my middle name is Blair. <laughs> What I need is a bush machete. Ooh. These are your toilet paper berries. Yep. And remember that this little button here, push it that way to zoom in and that way to zoom out. Try and get some shots of the trees too, because you you're right. lower to the ground than I am, so you can actually get some shots. Only of one in particular? Not necessarily. Just get a lay of land. Yeah, it's looking good right now. Battery's dying fast, but we still should make it. If only I had the entire forest floor covered in that stuff. Mm -hmm. You said these, when they bury, they have little orange bundles, like choke cherry looking things, and they're yeah, edible? Yeah, they are choke cherries. Cracker berries, choke cherries, same. Okay. And you said they're edible? Yeah, not very tasty, but edible. Okay. Well, we can mix them with other berries and jams and things. We should find out what they're good for, or what nutrients are in them. Since for all we know, they might have a valuable source of vitamin B12 or something. Never know. Oh, ho. oh! Standing water. See if you can pan around as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Or fall in. Yeah. If you fall in, toss the camera to me on your way down. Oh, I don't want to fall into that though. Swampy? Yeah, pretty stagnant, I think. But amazing. That in all this heat. Ooh. And uh, we haven't had rain in weeks, but it still cools the water. Right. Unbelievable. Now I say that, what's the temperature? 20? 25? <laughs> Probably. Oh, oh good job. Let's go over here. <laughs> I'm hoping a lot of the ground is not, is not like this. Yeah. Dragonflies. Hmm? Dragonflies. Yeah. That'll be unpleasant if uh, there's much of this soupiness. The ground is nice and spongy. Mm -hmm. But it has these moths that's been there for some time. But remember that Don has been living in his house for nine years. And uh, this road predates him. If you 
appreciate his presence. I liked it better in the woods where there's cover. <laughs> oh, uh, grandmother had mentioned that she wishes there were more brush fires and small forest fires there to get some local berries. Blueberries, yeah. So we should really have some controlled burns out our way and see if we can't get some berries. Growth. Yep. Imagine if you planted blueberries in the proper rows and raked all the ash in the piles. Yep. Easier to harvest thing. So we have a little map right there, and I'm going to walk in here to make a little bump on the map. Okay, so now we know where that is. Because when I put this line on top of the uh, satellite map, every little bump and divot, I can watch the video again and figure out where it is, and then actually see the local area rather than having to figure it out. So this should work out easier. Cool. Spider web. Oh. camera can pick up that. <laughs> Over the squirrels, maybe. I can hear the, the tractor. Yeah, I can just start to hear it. post there for some reason. See it? Uh, probably a stump. Looks long, dead, and dry, but not rotten. A stump. Okay. Strange would have turned that gray, though. Nope. Don't know. I've never seen something that on our side. It must be wetter. Yeah, it's true. Okay, where's this to? Yeah, look how it goes downhill there too. Yeah. Oh. Not far downhill, but downhill. So the camera should pick up some of the topography. It's recording in true 720p HD right now. Sweep around so we can get. I'm not concentrating on where I'm walking. Well, my dear. Falling down might be a bad idea. That was my thought.
Listen. <laughs> Just a little bit wet. Wow. This would be amazing to have in the forest floor. Look how she's eating the logs. This is getting really sticky. Yeah, this is really wet here. Whoa. Why do you wear sneakers? video? Remember how I hooked around and... <laughs> of course you don't. I showed you the previous map. <laughs> I showed you the previous map where I made like a, a sh shape of a big five. Yep. This is where I stopped. Oh, okay. So had I walked through that, I would have met the other road. Yep. Right, because before I walked up that hill. You walked down that hill. Oh yeah, I walked down the hill, up on the other side, and then I had a big five shape. Okay. So that's, this actually works out, because we'll, we'll go down that road that looks all the same. So we'll go up here, it's more diverse. And we know this is on our property, on our ground. Mm-hmm. The logs are stable. I don't know if they're Karen proof, but... Okay. So you'll see where the little stream bed runs. And all this, I guess, is technically our wood now. <laughs> because Don said he doesn't want it. Oh, okay. This is one of the sinkholes. Yep. And be careful, there are some angry squirrels out here too. They were spitting and sputtering at me. They tend to be angry when you're around. For what? <laughs> That's what mom said. Ivan's dog barks at dad. He loves mom. Loves me. Squirrels out here don't like me. <laughs> oh wow, he's been busy in here. This hasn't been touched in years, he said. Yeah, that's been a while. Now, over here. <laughs> <laughs> now. Holy doodle. What, what in the name of God? Right, look across to the trees that were cut down, and then this. Wow. I don't know. It's clearly been there forever because there are trees on the sides. Yep. So here we are as well. Crazy. So you can see we're almost one kilometer. And we're going to follow a shape of a five, it's upside down, and meet down at the main property again. But yeah, that's the sinkhole that I saw in the last video. This may seem redundant, but it's important because it's from multiple vantage points. Yeah, there's another one. Another one over there with a tree going out of the middle of it. Right? I don't know what's going on. A big ridge in the center. Land bridge. I took the trail continues. Just back over here. That's not leanable. No.
head. It's a war zone out here. Look at these big gorgeous trees. Yep. Okay, here's the other one. It's across a little land bridge. And no one dug this. No. That'd be interesting research to find out. Scares the hell out of me if there are sinkholes this size. As you said, it's been there a while. Yeah, I mean, there are trees running at the center of it. And they're not young. No. We should try and pick up the pace a little bit. As horrifying as some of these things are. Again, stream over here. Both sides, let's see if we can. Again, give you just some context. Slow sweep up front, Brian. Yep. How long do you suppose all this brush is here? A couple seasons, three, four seasons, maybe. Well, it doesn't take long to. If what Don said was right, they should have been here at least ten years. Oh, well, that's possible too. sunshine here, all this is all dried out. Yep. A big difference between there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's all baked hard. You hear that bridge that viewers will remember from the previous video? front, it gives perspective a little bit better. lot. As you can see, we're way over here, and I'm thinking, I, if my memory serves, it'll when I draw this on the map in the between clips, you'll see it more clearly. But that little blue dot right now should be on the woods lot side of oh. the property boundary. If I'm not mistaken. All this material could have been used. Oh, that's okay. TVs. Probably. Although the stumps are pretty close. Hmm. 
not that heavy into the winter because they're pretty close to the ground. Yeah, but what I mean is that there's no actual tracks from the ATV wheels. It should be pretty deep ruts. We've seen those already. Yeah. Now, what's down here? Down slope though. Alright, we'll head back out. We're 35 minutes into this walk now. Big black ants. Don't want to be on camera. No, they're shy. Oh wow, in the spider web. They just show up nicely. But pieces of breeze up here. We're gonna suffocate if we have the trees close together. and all this. Well, a lot to clean up, but it's still got to be cleared, so it's some work done for us. We should be back on our ground, just on the edge. So... Yeah, just down there. Should be roughly on our territory. And a little bit off that road to the right-hand side should be our territory, if I'm not mistaken, and it should be pretty close in either event. That's one of the benefits of all these walks, it gives us some good perspective. Yep. Yeah, there's more water over there. Well, not. It's like, uh, it used to be water. Yeah. Probably would be if we had some rain. <laughs> or snow. Yeah. We had no snow this winter. And no rain this spring. There we go. Yeah. This is a drought season, or drought year, no, no arguing. <laughs> I thought that was a road. It might have been at one point. But it's all grown in now with trees, so it's clearly been some time. But this one I had in the last a video. A lot of birch in here. Look at that. Not very old, but a lot of birch. Well, we're on our ground now. to plant birch in the forward woods then as it grows you can cut down the bigger trees and then, and then maybe in the decades to come we'll have nice straight birch because there's no wind no or just leave the ones that are growing there grow up 
Oh yes, what I mean is to plant some. And then as the birch trees grow, we can cut down the spruce. Yeah. And then eventually have a nice big uh, bruce. Birch. Bruce, yes. Birch forest. On the same token, I'd still leave some birch there as a screen because the, or not, got me doing it. Some spruce there as a screen because that's all year round that's there. Yeah. So I was thinking that way we can cultivate our own forest with the species we want. They can, should be able to hear that now. I hope they can. And, uh, that being said, we could still leave the ones that are there to be the natural habitat. But this is all second growth forest anyway. Forty years ago, this was bare. Maybe a little longer. Put the road in there. Yeah. Timer on the camera? How long is it rolling? 27.16. Okay. This is Don's clearing. You see where the foundation's been dug. It's all been de-stumped. And there's, uh, I guess his cousin, another downy, doing the work in the tractor. All right, that should be fine. We can cut it now. And this is where we are right now. So you can see that curve goes off the site. And right now we're standing on the corner of the property. And if we head straight for the road from here, that'll make the edge of our property. But Don and I have an agreement to move the, the territory in a little bit into our land to give a privacy screen, but that's okay. All right, stop there. It's a lynx. Uh -huh. Stay still. still. It sees us. Uh -huh. It's a lynx. Good afternoon. It is 106 right now. Uh, myself and Karen have been out here since 10. And uh, as you can see from my nose, a tree bit me, but that's not the matter entirely. Um, I had a little cache here squirreled away. You can see some bottles of water and a granola bar and stuff. And uh, we were having a chat with Don up the hill. Don't know if you can hear the heavy equipment in the background. He's de-stumping his guest house area. But we had uh, a couple of sieves of crackers, a few granola bars, and some bottles of water here out of, out of the way. So no, no one would see it, but I didn't realize it vanished until Karen noticed a blue jay with a big cracker in his mouth. So this is what the uh, squirrels, I assume, can you turn it, did to my crackers. Two full sleeves of crackers that um, apparently uh, they, they like crackers. That's frustrating. That's okay. Uh, so main road here, out that way, we're leaving alone. Uh, Don said he'll clear that for us. We have it surveyed off and he's going to cut the trees down. So we're down that way. So, um, there's a car. 165 feet down, we're clearing in. Um, roping, we're doing off trees, like these two, over there. 
and uh, we're going to continue on our epic journey now, try to get that done in as far as we can, uh, follow the line of sight, and every, you know, 20-30 feet we'll tape off a tree that we think is in the right spot, walk back to the road, sight it properly, swung our method of surveying, and check the, uh, the survey line for accuracy. We don't want it to be laser level right now as long as it's cleared enough so that the surveyor can come in and put in the spikes at 0 feet, 200 feet, 400 feet at one end, in the middle, and at the other side. That way we can actually use those points as a benchmark and uh, continue further in. But we only need the first section surveyed for now. Even if we have to pay for that in cash, we'll worry about that later. Uh, so that's all the huge updates. The sign should be in Thursday? Okay, pause. <laughs>